an 8 KB direct mapped write back cache is organized as multiple blocks each of size 32 bytes. So here is the cache and the, the total size of this cache is 8 kilobytes. So if we convert that into bytes, so k is 2 to the power of 10. So we get a total of 2 to the power of 13 bytes. Now the blocks over here each is of size 32 bytes. The processor is generating a 32 bit address. So the memory address that the processor is generating is containing 32 bits. The cache controller maintains tag information for each cache block comprising of the following one valid bit, one modified bit as well as the tag bits. So with each block the tag that is maintained is containing apart from the tag bits it is containing one valid bit and one modified bit as well. So as many bits as minimum needed to identify the memory block mapped in the cache. What is the total size of the memory needed at the cache controller to store the metadata or the tags for the cache? So we know that the cache size is 2 to the power of 13 bytes and each block is consisting of 32 bytes. Now if this is a byte addressable memory and if we want to access any particular byte in this block and there are 32 bytes that means it can be addressed each byte can be addressed using 5 bits which is log of 32. Now that means out of this whole memory address of 32 bits 5 bits will be needed to specify the offset. Offset means the word, the particular byte within that particular block. Now we have to see how many blocks there are in the cache. So if this is the cache size 8 into 2 to the power of 10 and the block size is 32 bytes. So if we divide this by 32 we will get 2 to the power of 8 which is 256 blocks. So from block 0 to block 255, 256 blocks we are having in the cache. So if there are 2 to the power of 8 blocks, how many bits will be required to specify a particular block? 8 bits. So we take this and 8 bits we know will be required to specify the block. So in this memory address, 8 bits will be used to specify the block. Now the total address size was 32 bits. Out of this, 5 bits are being used to specify the offset within a block. That means if there is a block and if there are 32 bytes, offset stands for that particular byte. 8 is for the block number. So the number of tag bits would be 32 minus 8 minus 5 which is 19 bits. Apart from these tag bits, there is 1 bit for the valid and 1 bit for the modified bit. So the total number of bits is 21 bits and how many blocks are there? So now for each block there will be these tag entries. There are 2 to the power of 8 blocks. So 21 bits in each tag directory. So the total number of bits would be that would be required would be 5, 3, 7, 6 bits.